one. In order to find the inverse, this function must be a one-to-one -one function. So let's check that first. You can do that a couple different ways. The first is we know that if we look at the graph of this function, this is a linear function. So it's going to go through the y-intercept 0, 1, and its slope is 2, so it will be rise to run 1. And if we use the vertical um, line test, we know that the vertical line test says it is a function. The horizontal line test, if we go across, says it is one-to-one -one function, and that is because a horizontal line drawn at any point in the graph only hits the graph one time. If it hits it more than once, it is not a function. The other way to check for one-to-one -one is to do it algebraically. So we're going to check, does f of a equal f of b result in a equals b? Okay. So let's do this computation with this function. So f of a, first you start f of a equals f of b, and we're trying to see does that equal a, does that make a equals b by the end? So this is going to be 2a plus 1. Um, this is going to be 2b plus 1. And we don't really need the parentheses, but I did put it in. So 2a plus 1 equals 2b plus 1. We're trying to figure out if a equals b. So let's solve for a here. So minus 1. And you would work this just like any linear equation. So 2a equals, what happens here? That's going to cancel. So 2a equals 2b. And then divide by 2. So we get a equals b. So we can see, yes, this does um, make a one-to-one -one function because f of a equals f of b gives us the result of a equals b. Okay, so this is one-to-one. -one. Now, no, now that we know that it's one-to-one, -one, we can actually find the formula for the inverse. So we're going to do that in a few different steps. Our first step is to take f of x and call it y. So we have y equals 2x plus 1. Now if you've thought about the inverse before and you've looked at the inverse of maybe ordered pairs, we know that if we have a point x, y, the ordered pair for the inverse would be y, x. We also know that the dom domain of the function is the range of the inverse, and the range of the function is the, the domain of the inverse. So those x and y values are swapping. And because they are swapping, we're going to swap those here. So this is y equals 2x plus 1. Now we're going to make that x equals 2y plus 1. Okay. So our next step is to solve for y, just like we've done before when we were graphing linear equations that were not set up in y equals mx plus b format. So here we're going to, um, there's a couple different ways you could do this, but let's move this negative one over. So we have x minus one equals two y, and that cancels. And then we're going to divide by two So then I have, I'm going to put this y on the left-hand side here now. So y equals x minus 1 over 2. And we're almost there. So now we can say that y is now the inverse function. So we're going to say f inverse of x equals x minus 1 over 2. Now this is not a negative 1 exponent. Um, this is just a notation for the inverse function. So this, when you see this, you know you're talking about the inverse of f of x. Okay, so this is the formula for the inverse of our function.